Dyson dedicated 10,000 words in the New Republic recently to taking your, basically your record apart. He argued, he tried to school you in how to criticize Obama in that piece. Yeah, exactly. And he talked, your former student, about it's better to say you support the guy, he's up against a lot, he's failing, or he has failed on some occasions, than what you do. To which he says that you said, that's how we're different. What's wrong with his approach? Well, I mean, he can have the approach he wants. Uh, you know, again, I want everybody to lift their voice. But the question is whether you're going to be honest and candid about it, you see. When I hear talk about Wall Street government, Main Street, left out to dry, when I hear talk about a drone presidency and I see the innocent lives lost, when I see massive surveillance that Brother Snowden and, uh, and Sister Manning and others have disclosed, uh, righteous indignation flows. Ecological catastrophe, going to corporate greed, then we got the new Jim Crow, you got decrepit schools and so forth. Then if he says, no, we need polite language in order to support the president and maybe have a criticism every now and then, I say, no, we two different kind of black men. Mm -hmm. I'm full of righteous indignation to see these structural injustices. And I think what we have, and, and Brother Dyson, of course, he's not just a former student I've known him for over 30 years, but he was my very close brother. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. So when I read, uh, as much as I could read, it was hard to get through the whole thing. It was painful because I could see him in such pain and anguish because we were so close. Mm. You know what I mean? I said, ooh, brother, this looks like a little narcissistic self-projection. You see in yourself when you're looking at me in terms of you got me wrong. I'm trying to tell the truth and willing to pay a price. You were, to you were telling the truth for a while, and, but unwilling to pay the price. You change, you become one of the president's men, and now you get rationalization for your deference to the status quo. Now, if you want to be, the, you know, deference to the status quo, that's a choice people make. There's mm -hmm. black conservatives, there's black liberals, there's black neoliberals. He wants to be a black leftist. You can't be a leftist and act like a neoliberal. <laughs> you, you, you can't do it. There's something called the truth that's bigger than all of us. So know? it's not about ego that you didn't get the tickets to the inauguration you were looking for? Oh, no. I mean, anytime you do 65 events for somebody within 11 months, you think you deserve a ticket for your mother. I mean, that's just decent for yeah. me. So in that sense, and not only that, but that has nothing to do with drone presidency, Wall Street presidency. Right. These are the issues. And see, I, I was reading my dear brother's piece uh, as we plan to go to Ferguson, Baltimore, and I'm thinking, this is a distraction. You got all these deaths out here, this suffering out here. The last thing we need is some narcissistic discussion about yeah. two Negro intellectuals. So let's move on. We absolutely. We got the people. <laughs> the, we, we tried to serve the people. <laughs>